I don't like to think about AI. I think about utilitarian intelligence or artificial smartness. This is kind of this idea of a web-based service. We get it over the cloud. And because it's based in the cloud, the more people that use it, the smarter it gets. The smarter it gets, the more people use it. Recently, we saw this fabulous um, demonstration where they took the stills from about a million different YouTube clicks, uh, uh, clips and they took it to the AI at Google and they said, what do you see? <laughs> and it painted this picture, which is a cat. It didn't say cat, it just said, I see this. And it said, I, basically, it's saying, I see this, I see cats <laughs> on the internet. It, no one asked it, no one said anything about cats, but I see cats. So AI is very powerful, and here's where I want to talk about the singularity. Um, I, 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 I think there's two kinds of singularity, strong and weak, and the strong kind is um, the kind of the Ray Kurzweil where we're going to make this super machine and it's going to make another super machine faster. And the idea is, if you look at these exponential curves, they're saying, look, they're in the near future, they're going up. But the problem with an exponential curve is that they, they're always going to go up anywhere along that entire path. They're going to go up, and they'll still be going up. So it's always near, and it has always been near for the past 100 years. So there's no, the exponential curves should not really inform this idea of a singularity at all. But Ray's idea is, is that there's two. Step one is you make a smarter than us AI. And then step two, you have immortality. <laughs> it's like, there's a lot in between there. <laughs> there's a lot in between there. And his idea is if you have something really smart, that will solve all the problems of, of health and immortality. But that's not the way things work. It's because biological phenomena take time, you have to do experiments. You could take all the super intelligence in the world and they could read all the literature, the medical literature there is right now, and you're not going to be able to figure out how to cure cancer just by thinking about it. I call that thinkism. A lot of these guys are really smart. They think the answer to everything is just thinking about it. But you need data. You need, you need to do experiments. And so that idea of the singularity happening just because we make something smarter than us I don't think it's going to work. But I do think there's one aspect to the singularity which is true, which is that it means that we, we can make something at a larger scale that we can't really see what's going to happen. We can't really imagine what something would, hap would, would be like at another level in the organization. And I think that sense of singularity is going to be true. If we have auto-enhancing AI, I think that's a possibility. I don't think it's going to make much difference when it's by itself, but I think if, if it's on the cloud, if it's, if it's the superorganism that's making AI, I think that's much more interesting. And I think that's actually much more likely that AI is not going to come in a standalone machine or standalone company. It'll occur at the level of the superorganism. So that superintelligence is not that it's super like meaning it's better than us. I think it means that it's just going to operate at a different level.